Sa video na to, I will discuss the concept behind the virtual work method. And so, maliit lang yung equation na we should memorize. And this is ideal for board exam questions kasi mga madadali lang yung mga problems. Usually, meron lang tayong mga fixed support na merong isang segment lang, A to B. And then, yung usual questions is to compute for the maximum deflection. Kung gagamitan mo yan ito, madali mo lang yan makukuha. Kasi meron tayong feature sa calculator na pwedeng mag-solve ng definite integrals. And so, ito yung formula natin the summation of 1 over EI and then what you will integrate is M times MV. Now, itong M is yung moment equation from the real beam and then itong MV is the moment equation from the virtual system. Now, itong moment equation is by each segment and yung maganda dito is yung origin mo maybe from left to right or right to left. Depende na yan sa discarte mo. And then if you will consider from left, you will have to consider all loads to the left. And then if you will form the equation from the right, then you will consider all loads to the right. Because we are essentially summing up moments at each point. Now, ito yung gagawin mo for the virtual system. For deflection questions, you need to apply a unit load at the point where you want to get the deflection. Now, itong unit load is just a concentrated load na yung value is 1. So, ito yan. Concentrated load na yung value is 1. Now, we are applying a concentrated load because yung deflection moves this way. Kasi yung deflection natin may be downward or upward. Yan yung reason behind yan. And then, for slope questions, we have to apply a unit moment at the point where you want to get the slope. Now, again, Kung slope yung question, we need to apply a unit moment. Itong unit moment is a moment load that has a value of 1. Now, it can be clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, ito yung gagamitin natin for slope questions because itong moment is simply the rotation. Now, yung sign convention natin dito is if we get a positive value, it means na correct yung assumption natin. And then, if we get a negative value, then it means na wrong yung assumption natin. Now, maybe this looks difficult. Kasi wala pa tayong example. And so for our first situation, let's tackle this problem. Yung problem is to find the maximum deflection. Now, ito yung real beam natin. And then ito yung virtual system. Now, yung origin natin may be from left to right or right to left. So we can make a cut dito. And then let's consider this as our origin. Magiging ganto. Or we can make a cut dito. And then let's consider this as our origin. Depende na yan sa discarte mo. Now, what's ideal to do here is dito tayo magka-cut. And then let's choose this as our origin from right to left. And so if from right to left, yung conventions natin magchi-change. Yung clockwise moments magiging negative. And yung counterclockwise moments magiging positive. Now, the resultant of the distributed load will cause a clockwise moment about dito sa cut. And so, that will be negative kasi from right tayo. And so, this will be x. Now, I am choosing the origin from the right para hindi ko na isosolve yung reactions dito. Kasi hindi na kasi yan kasali sa cut. And so, I will form the moment equation for the real beam. Now, yung moment equation from the right in terms of x is 70 times x. Ito yung resultant ng force mo. Multiplied by the moment arm na half ng x, which is x over 2. So, times x over 2. Again, this is negative kasi from the right tayo. So ito na yung M natin. And so now, in our virtual system, we will apply a unit load dito sa B. Kasi we are trying to find the maximum deflection. And we know that the maximum deflection occurs dito sa free end. And so we will apply dito a unit load. Because yung question is deflection. Kung yung question is slope, we will apply a unit moment. Now, the value here is 1. Now, since yung M ko is from the right, yung MV ko should also be from the right. Kung ano yung gagawin mo sa real beam, yan din yung gagawin mo sa virtual system. Yung origin na gagamitin mo dito is the same origin na gagamitin mo dito. So, ganto yan. Let's make a cut dito. And so, this will be X. And so, taking moments about this point, that will be 1 times X. And then, because from the right tayo, this will cause a clockwise moment about this point. And so, that will be negative. So, yung MV natin, ito yung moment sa virtual system. That will be negative 1 times X. And so, now, we can apply this formula. Now, since isa lang yung segment natin, A to B, we will only get one definite integral. And so, yung deflection at B is equal to 1 over EI times the integral from 0 to yung length ng segment natin is 8 meters. So, this will be 8. Yung M natin, is negative 70 x squared over 2. And then yung mv natin is negative 1 x. And then merong dx dito. Default na to because we are integrating x. And so we can use our calculators directly from 0 to 8 and then negative 70 x squared over 2 times negative 1 x. And so ito na yung answer natin. It's very efficient. Kasi itong virtual system, you don't need to draw this if you are already familiar with the moment equation. 
Again, yung answer natin is 35840 KNM cubed divided by EI. Ito na yung maximum deflection. Now, just for fun, let's try to solve this one with our origin from the left side. So let's erase this one. Now, if we will use the left side as our origin, we need to solve for the reactions dito. Now, yung AY natin will be 70 times 8, which is 560. And then, our moment reaction will be 70 times 8 times 4. And that will be counterclockwise. And yung value is 2 to 40. And so now, ito na yung origin natin. Let's make a cut dito. And so, yung M natin magiging negative 40 plus 560 times x and then minus the resultant of this one multiplied by the moment arm which is x over 2 and so this will be 70 x times x over 2 ito na yung moment equation natin from the left and since from the left tayo dito we should also make a moment equation dito from the left and so let's solve for the reactions now madali lang to because yung ay natin will simply be equal to 1 and then yung moment reaction dito is equal to 1 times 8 but counterclockwise to counteract this one and so this will be 8 knm now yung origin natin will be also from the left and so let's make a cut dito this will be x and so yung moment natin about this point will be negative 8 ito plus 1 times x and so ito na yung equation natin again isa pa rin yung segment natin a to b and so yung deflection at b or the maximum deflection is equal to 1 over ei times the integral from 0 to 8 and then copy natin yung m negative 2 to 40 plus 560x minus 70x squared over 2. And then multiply natin yan by mv, which is negative 8 plus 1 times x. And then meron tong dx. So let's use our calculators. And so ito na yung answer natin, which is the same kanina. However, this is very inefficient because mahaba na masyado yung equation natin. Compared kanina, na isa lang yung loading natin. And so it's very important to identify kung ano yung origin ay consider mo.